Hi, welcome everyone. In this video, we'll explain the bulk record expense module and how our feature in HAL ERP. So what, what do we mean by bulk record expense? Bulk record expense is a feature that allow you to record more than one expense, for example, uh, more than one expense for more than one vendor in the same transaction, and then it will be split by the, each transaction alone. Meaning, that, meaning, for example, if we have three, two vendors, let's say, and each vendor has two uh, expense. So instead of recording each each uh, vendor uh, expense or each transaction for each expense alone, we can do it in one transaction, and then the system will automatically will split it one by one. So at the beginning, we'll go to the expense module, and then that will go to the bulk record expense, and then we'll click on create new. Then after that, it will open for us the form which we have to fill in the information or the data for the record expenses. So as the, so this one will open for us. The tax supplier will leave it as in any because it doesn't matter at any cost. Then we'll select the pay from ledger, which in this case, this ledger, it will be credit. Okay. Then we'll go here, click on this plus sign. And for example, as we said, we have two vendors and each vendor has an uh, expense. Okay, the two expenses. So we'll click here, three, then we'll click on duplicate row. As you can see, it's duplicate. So now we have four. So the first one will be supplier one, sorry, supplier one, then the second vendor, supplier one, then the last vendor, okay? Then we'll select the expense ahead, which is in this case will be debited. So here we'll debit for supplier one, we'll debit the uh, expense. So as you can see here, we can go to the expense, we'll go, sorry, we'll select the uh, general expense. Here we'll select, for example, let's say rent, which will be uh, 4016, or we can search, as you can see, 4016, and here also, We'll select another expense head for him, for this vendor. Let's say uh, 4012. And here will be wages and salaries, for example. Or oh, not wages, so let's select another expense. And let's say uh, insurance. Okay. Then we'll type the amount. Let's say here one, uh, 150. Here 5,000. Sorry, 5,000. Here. 2,500 and here uh, 4,000, okay? And the method will be cash or bank, whatever, the payment term. And then the most important thing here, split posting by item, we'll select it as yes, which will um, automatically split each posting alone. So meaning that this will be separate uh, transaction, this will be separate transaction, and this will be separate transaction. And then we'll click on approve. So before we click on approve, I'm opening the record expense here in another screen. So as you can see, this is the report expense. Uh, there is the report for the record expense. So basically, it will not have anything until now. Once we save the transaction, now the transaction will be saved. We'll go here to the record expense and we'll update the report by click on reload data. Once we click here, we'll see that, see, 4,000, 2,500, 5,150. Each transaction, each expense recorded separately in the system. And to see the split, here we click on ledger posting. And we can see from here that debit general expense and credited the bank, as we said before, it will debit the Pay form and to credit the expense head. I uh, hope it was clear for you. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.